everyone. Last time we were studying life sciences, living organisms, and we were focusing on bird beaks and how different bird beaks are adapted for picking up different types of food. Today we're going to continue learning about birds, but learning about their homes. Birds live in a place called a nest. Now these nests are not something that they go to the store and purchase. It's not something that's already made for them, but it's something that they make themselves. Here I have two real birds' nests that were made by actual birds. Now birds also can't go into a store and buy materials, so where do you think they get their materials? They find it. They have to go and search and look and find the materials that they think would be perfect to store their eggs and to be able to be a home for themselves as well so that they could sit on. Birds are natural engineers and natural builders. They have to design and build a home for themselves. Now, what we're going to do today is we're also going to be engineers and we're going to design and build a bird's nest. For this lab, you are going to supply the materials yourself. These are materials that you may find laying around your house, such as recyclables. If you have access to a backyard or a park, you may pick up some other materials that you may find there. Things like leaves and twigs and sticks and anything else that a bird might find in nature. You can use all of those. Then on the sheet provided, you are going to draw a picture of what you think your nest will look like. Once you have your drawing, once you have your image of what your nest will look like, then you are going to use those materials and build. Now your bird's nest is going to have to fit a few different requirements. What I have here is a fake bird. This is actually a marshmallow peep. But your bird's nest has to be able to fit a bird this size inside of it. And your nest has to be able to be picked up. It cannot be stuck to the area that you're working on. Two requirements, pretty simple. The one other thing that I wanted to share with you is birds stick things together, not using glue. They don't have access to glue, but they find sticky materials. Now I'm going to allow you guys to use glue, but be creative. Think of other sticky materials that a bird might have access to. Birds actually also use spider webs. Spider webs are a great material to be able to tie things together and hold things together. If you've ever walked through a spider web, you'll see it's kind of sticky and it'll stick to you for a while until you try to rub it all off. It is around Halloween time, so if you have access to fake spider webs, that could be another material you could add. For my bird's nest, the materials that I'm going to use are things, these are things I found at home. I had some toothpicks, some popsicle sticks, and some cotton balls. And from my backyard, I was able to find some dead leaves and twigs. I'm going to first make a drawing of what my bird's nest will look like and then I'm going to start building. Now, before I build, I'm going to design my bird's nest. I need to list the materials that I'm going to use. And these are the rules. My bird must fit inside and I must be able to pick up the bird's nest. I'm going to design below 
making sure I use labels. Well, definitely want to use popsicle sticks. So I'm going to draw my popsicle sticks, making sure I also label because I know what it looks like. I know that I'm drawing a popsicle stick, but maybe I want somebody else to be able to copy my design and they might not know what I used. It's a good idea for somebody to be able to completely understand your drawing. Well, my design is done. And I have labeled my popsicle sticks, the cotton that I've used to hold things together, the leaves that I have put all around, my toothpicks, and I actually show where the bird is also going to sit. Now, I'm going to try to follow this as best as I can, but sometimes when we're designing, we come to situations where we might have to change things and we may have to redesign. And if you have to redesign, that's okay, just show that on the sheet somewhere. Now here is my completed bird's nest. Let's see if my bird fits inside. Oh, he does. And I'm able to, he's able to fly away and come back. And now let's see if I'm able to lift up my bird's nest. Can't be stuck to the floor, remember. Oh, I can pick it up. Now I did have to make a change. I had to add another layer of popsicle sticks that I wasn't planning for. So now on my sheet, what I'm going to do is show how I had another layer of popsicle sticks going in the other direction. Now you can add it to your original drawing or you can make a brand new drawing and label it again so that we know what we are talking about. Now, just to review what we did today, we were pretending to be birds and we were engineering birds nests. You had to go look for your own supplies and your own materials and come up with your own design and build a bird's nest. These are some real bird's nests that I have that kind of help me, guide me. But mine looks very different and that's okay. It can look any way you want it to look. Now remember the rules. Your bird has to fit inside and you have to pick up the bird's nest from the surface that you're working on. Good luck and I can't wait to see what your creations look like.